time to turn on some lights and uh, get the day going. Here we have a couple of flat dog roof racks, both manufactured from start to finish in house. And here we have an ARB awning integrated with LED light. Let's get to it. kindly let us take a look around his vehicle. He's just had an ARB two meter awning with LED light fitted. As you can see, he's got a flat dog roof rack on, a Howler Moon 1.6 roof tent. He's particularly pleased with how the storage has come out in the back. As you can see, we've got a flat dog system, cargo side cages, cargo shelf, and the upper shelf as well. Fits nicely into the side with the brackets. Nice and easy. There's not too much missing off this one. We've even got a little solar power on the top. And as you can see, just on the inside, you've got a solar controller. Very nice vehicle, used for expedition all around Europe. So, next job on this 110 roof rack. We're going to pop some tent brackets in place, ready for the 1.4 metre Howling Moon that's going to be fitted. We're going to do this off the vehicle just so we're not clambering about once it's uh, fit into the roof rack. So with the uh, flat dog racks you've got your T-slot system that you can simply slide the bolts into. We've got the slots in the tent bracket, which is on top, and then we can nut and washer on top. What we're going to do now is, is measure up the uh, aluminium rails on the tent base, make sure the brackets are, are central so the tent will open off the back. 
and um, wait for the car for the fitting. We've just moved over to the base of the Harlem in 1.410. As you can see, we've got the aluminium rails bolted to the bottom through the base, nice and simple. We've fitted the bars the opposite way around to the roof rack bars, so it will sit on the tent brackets, as we've shown you on the roof rack. Just to quickly show you how the block slides into here, we have the block and the bolt that comes with the Harlem Moon tent. Slides into the rail, and that thread will go through the tent bracket and bolt up, as we showed you earlier on. Now we're just going to prefit the universal awning brackets for the safari awning that's going on the vehicle. We call it a universal bracket. We've got four fixing points for various awnings. It can fit on top of the flat dog roof rack. It can fit underneath going down or it can fit underneath going up. So there's always a mounting option. On this occasion, as Adam is about to show, we're going underneath on the roof rack. You've got the same T-slot on the rack underneath as well to slide the bolts into, so nice and easy. So we've got the black mountain rail for the safari on. Extrusion at the back to slide the bolts into. I'm going to pop the bolts through the brackets that we fitted and um, tighten it up. So fitting the Howling Moon safari on in onto the mountain rail. Just slide straight into the top channel can be done with one person but it's easier with two What a day we've had today. Thank you for watching along of our Saturday fittings at Flat Dog. As you can see, we do plenty of roof racks, awnings, roof tents. Hopefully it's something that's uh, a little insight for you um, of how we do a few things. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, click the bells, all that sort of thing. Depends on what social media outlet you're looking on. Thank you very much.